There's this kind of thing in the insurance industry right now where like everyone's like Facebook leads, Facebook leads, Facebook leads, automations, Facebook leads. And, and that to me is, I don't think that's going to live that much longer really. Um, I'm already seeing things go down. You need to take a little bit more holistic approach. Now, Facebook leads and, and digital marketing on Facebook still works incredibly well, just like, just like um, direct mail does. But there's something that's much more impactful and powerful for the long term of your business. If you're trying to grow a business, then you need to invest in your actual business and brand. And, and we, you know, Coach talked about a, a person of interest. I've used the term content marketing and thought leader. And I want to just kind of unpack this a little bit further to you, for, further, because this is um, one of the graphs that I showed yesterday in my presentation. I want to kind of just kind of show you exactly what I mean, right? So let's just say this is January and this is December. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, this is the overall, like, you know, lead flow, traffic that we're getting to our site, et cetera. Maybe Facebook leads, whatever, so leads, et cetera. So everybody right now is focused on the short term, uh, you know, pay $12 for a Facebook lead, $7 for a Facebook lead, whatever. Drive that Facebook lead now. This is like a paid tool. Drive it now to get the return on investment now. And this is a fantastic tool, and you can always scale this typically. It's, it's a very, you have to do paid um, you know, lead development and, and paid marketing to get any short term, you know, return on investment at all. The, the problem though with this is you kind of de de become dependent on a particular daily budget and you end up, if you ever end up deciding to cut that budget, your overall lead flow goes to zero because you basically spent today. And then if you don't get a return on investment on that spend today, then you haven't really like built anything long term. Now, most people kind of keep things going and move things up. But the point is, is that you're really not building anything in your business. Um, whenever you're buying leads, right? So the long-term strategy that I want to break out is just this, this the whole idea of content marketing, becoming a thought leader. But what I find that people have the most struggle with is not agreeing that it's something they should do. And it's not um, like kind of understanding the gist of kind of how it works. Like, yeah, I think I need to blog and I think I need to do some YouTube videos. It's mostly like how to connect the dots to make sure that they're not wasting their time. Because so many people start and like they just don't feel like they're getting any traction, so they quit. And they don't really understand, they have no compass, they have no what is north on how to do this content marketing, becoming a person of interest, et cetera. So what, what the whole point of this that we're trying to do is we're trying to create a piece of content today. Um, let's just call it a blog post, video, whatever. Put it on our, our website, which I'm going to break down a little bit further. And then maybe we get a couple extra clicks to our website. And all of a sudden, you're kind of just creeping up. And before you know it, you're kind of getting some decent traffic, you're getting a thousand bucks, a, you know, a thousand you know, traffic leads a day or whatever. Now, the beauty about this whole deal is, two, is twofold. One, we've built, we're building a passive lead flow because Google, the amount of Google searches for, if you just look up, I just looked up this morning, um, Uber Suggest is a keyword tool that you guys should look into. It just, it's Neil Patel's keyword tool, it's free. It's just Google Uber Suggest and just play around. It's a really cool, awesome tool. Neil Patel's a genius. Um, and so I was playing on that today. Just the keyword burial insurance is Googled 999, uh, 9, times, uh, in this last like three weeks or so, which is kind of crazy. This is and, and how much higher intent is a person Googling burial insurance than someone that saw a Facebook ad talking about their state regular program that's doing now in their area with a picture of the flag on the Facebook page. And then they fill out the lead form and then you get your lead form and they also filled out five other lead forms. And then you, I mean, the buyer intent is, is vastly different. So what are you doing to, tr to capture that traffic for that someone that is looking for Medicare office near me or Medicare supplement plan D compared to, you know, whatever, right? So that's how you do it. You do it with content marketing. So over time, you get this steady drip. Now, what happens if you cut your content marketing budget or you stop blogging, instead of it going to zero, you kind of just get to level off right here, right? So you're still, let's just say at, at the height, we're going to get, I don't know, 10, 10 leads a day. I don't know. 10 leads a day, but you cut your budget, then you're going to get 10 leads a day in basic per, you know, perpetuity until someone takes you over on the content strategy. So whenever I said yesterday, on a long enough timeline, you'll always get a better return on investment with your content marketing. That's what I mean. It's like you may spend whatever amount of dollars to get a website set up and all of that today, but the long-term benefit of the residual leads that you're going to get far past when you, when you are investing in your site, if you ever decide to stop, is always going to get your return on investment, 100%. So what I'm going to do is break down some steps on like how to actually do this, okay? So the first step that you're going to want to build towards is you got to create a site map. Now, we're going to spend a very little time on this because I show, literally showed you guys a gigantic picture of a site map yesterday, and I saw a lot of people taking pictures of that. If you guys want that presentation, 
that I did yesterday, just email uh, Landon at securityagentmarketing.com and I'll have one of my people like send you the presentation if you want to look at that and didn't take enough pictures. But that sitemap um, is, what that really is, is that's defining how many pages. So you've got your home page, right? And then you've got your, let's just say, med advantage, and then you've got your med sub as an example, right? So what you want to do is you want to create, if you were to take your last thousand, well, let's say 100 policies that you've written, and you could put them into, let's just say, five piles of, of different business um, sort of segments, that means you pretty much need five pages of foundational content. Does that make sense? So whenever you're building out your sitemap, it's like, let's just say you focus on, you know, these particular plans or index annuities or whatever it ends up being. If you have like a block of customers that you're trying to attract, then you need a foundational page relevant to that actual uh, you know, block of customers. So that's how you create your sitemap. So once you create your sitemap, then you know exactly how many pages you need to create, right? So the next thing you got to do, right, is you got to write the content, write content. Now, this is hard, easier said than done. Um, you really need about four to 800 words per page of foundational content if you can. It needs to be unique. If you copy and paste, you're in the naughty corner. Um, you might as well, like, not have the page if you're planning on copy and pasting. Not to mention, all these services that take reproduced blogs and put it on your website is killing your SEO because Google does not want duplicate content on your website. So don't do that. Um, unless for some reason you get some situation where it's like emailing them first or whatever. But at the end of the day, you don't want duplicate content that's on anywhere else on the internet, right? So you got to write the content, right? Now, yesterday I talked about how to sort of stand up the baseline of the website, right? So the baseline of this website, I really highly recommend just building a WordPress website with an Elementor page builder. So WordPress with Elementor page builder. Now what this will allow you to do is basically stand up whatever page you want and it's really drag and drop and creating pages or it's really not that difficult to do. But the bet, you could also do things like Wix or Squarespace or one of those out of the box solutions. I wouldn't recommend those because they don't allow you to do whatever you want to do, and you, this is pretty much just as easy as that. Then, once you have your foundational page and you've got your, your foundational pages built out in WordPress or Elementor, then you need to create a content engine. Content engine. Right now, what that really means is Google does not care whose website they show in your particular market. They only care that their users get the best answers to their questions they just Googled. So what I mean is, is if it's a, if you have the best website that answers the, the question the best in a particular area, you get, you're on the first page of Google. That's how it works. Google also is trying to get your local searches in Springfield, Missouri to a website or a business in Springfield, Missouri. You can do that by going ahead and making sure you do your fifth thing, which is do your Google My Business setup. Google My Business setup. What this does is this makes sure that Google knows that you're anchored in a particular city and that when there's a local search that's done in that particular area, Google's going to anchor your site and basically say, wow, this, this keyword mentions Springfield, Missouri, so we're going to anchor this to that um, site, right? So now, once you have the, the site built and you're, you're good to go and you got your content engine moving, all right, supplemental content. Now. All you got to do is go to Uber Suggest, type in a keyword that you want to be ranked for, and look for the search volume. Spend 15 minutes poking around the tool. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know, and you're going to come up with some keywords that you know, you, you, know you want to be found for. Let's just say, I, I'm going to, just for the sake of time, let's just say you guys are going to go after the keyword med, med advantage, right? So let's just say I've got med advantage. All right, so here's my third piece, my fourth piece, and my fifth piece of content. That's relevant to that keyword. Now, obviously, we want our goal is to create hundreds of pieces of content over time. But what happens is, is when you create a content engine, you can't just write the piece of content. You have to actually connect it to a foundational page of, of your website as well. So let's just say I pick the keyword Medicare Advantage. I create the 400-word blog post. You should just shoot a video relevant to that exact same topic and talk through it. Put that video on YouTube. Embed that video on your blog. Write the article. And then there's a way to connect this actual um, supplemental piece of content to this actual foundational page. Okay, so what happens on Google's brain or their little AI is they say, 
This person Googled Medicare Advantage in Tupelo, Mississippi, Justin. And there is three websites that are talking about MedAdvantage in Tupelo. One website has one page that talks about Medicare Advantage, but this site has one page plus two, three, four, five, six. So six total pages talking about Medicare Advantage. These five are all pointing to this foundational page. Which page do you think Google thinks is the most authoritative? Obviously, it's this page. So what happens is you've created this supplemental piece of content that may get very little traffic overall, but it's acting as like a stilt to prop up your foundational page to show Google that I'm not just one page of content around Medicare Advantage. I've got like a ton of content around Medicare Advantage, right? So whenever you talk about becoming a person of interest and building and becoming a thought leader, this is the core of how it works. So this is really just like the holding tank of all of your content. So if you're like, how do I actually do the content marketing or how does this work? Just do the keyword research, shoot the video, write the article, share it on social, and just go after that strategy. Now, I'll tell you, if you, this is not super easy to do from a time perspective, so you should potentially hire some or all of this out. So that's what our business does, and that's why we've been growing so quickly, is we do all of these different pieces. So if you want to do your own videos and have us write the articles, that can happen. If you want to do your own articles and have us do the videos, that can happen. If you don't have a website and you want us to build you one, that can happen. So you can do your own content, whatever. The key, though, is that this has to get done. Somebody has to do this if you want to capture that traffic. I can promise you that those that, like, there's this interesting conundrum in the insurance industry right now where specifically, um, good, I had more time than I thought. Specifically, in the Medicare space, I'm just going to pick on that because that's like what's, that's like the kind of the, the new thing right now from a marketing perspective because there's so many Google searches relevant to Medicare keywords that you can go after these keywords specifically and there's just tons of volume, right? So the, the, there's this, th something's happening right now where there's a lot of search volume, but there's not a lot of websites that are in particular markets that are capturing that local search because there's very, the industry as a whole is very behind in general. And so there's really not like the local Medicare office in a particular market that's building a big gigantic foundational website and shooting videos and connecting that. There's some big, big, you know, big websites that are doing this nationwide, and they're basically scooping up all the low-hanging fruit from the websites that aren't in a particular market. Because you can compete. If someone searches Medicare Advantage Springfield, Missouri, you'll outrank any of this, the, the actual websites that are, have a higher authority on the general keyword, typically, because of that qualifier Springfield, Missouri. And whenever you look at the actual geotag that people are doing, a lot of people are Googling these keywords trying to find some help, you know, if that makes sense. So... The main thing that I want to try to like, get through our like, mind as we're sort of connecting the dots is that the, the paid traffic is great, and that's how you scale, and that's how you can like, create a lead flow that's consistent and sustainable. But the golden goose is really the organic traffic, because the, the person that Googles Medicare Advantage plan in my area or Medicare Advantage help and then finds your phone number and then walks into your office is probably the highest intent lead you can possibly get, right? So on the flip side, whenever you're doing these paid traffic tools, it's expensive. First off, like if you look at the Medicare Advantage keywords typically on Google, they're anywhere from $12 to like $19 a piece just for one click. And that's not even like a conversion or a lead. That's like a click to your landing page. So a good conversion rate is, you know, 10, 20, 15% or so. So you can just run the numbers on a CPL that way. But why do you think it, people are spending on all these keywords? It's because it's working, right? But unfortunately, Google is built for the big, 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 big budgets. So as a local individual office, we can compete in this way. So if you are able to have the, the time to do this, you won't regret it, I promise. And that is how you actually connect the dots because what will happen is, is the, one of the biggest things that you accomplish when you're building out this content engine is people work with the people that educate them. And so if you have a website that is filled with videos of you talking about your work and how passionate you are and educating on particular topics. Whether you get organic traffic or not, you can point people to your website and that comes across as a, I think, a brand voice and a brand tone where it's like, I've made a large effort to educate you. Go to my website and just, you know, poke around because I've got like literally like tens of thousands of dollars invested in this site. It'll pay for itself from the organic leads, but it will, I think it'll actually pay for itself in intangible ways more by being more of a thought leader and educational focused individual um, that you know, is, is, is educating your particular customer base in a, in a way that 
um, not very many people actually are doing. And also, people still want to buy from people. This business, I don't think, is ever going to be totally automated. In fact, I know a guy that has millions of dollars invested in a uh, marketing like funnel that's built to like write the policy and not even ever talk to a person. And they're like struggling like heck and they've got millions and millions of dollars behind this. And after they even get the actual contract, the persistency is horrible also because there's no human interaction from it. So it's almost like a failed project after this guy threw $30 million at this thing. So, you know, people still want to work with people. So if you can embed videos and your personality into your website while educating, it makes you more of a referral source as well. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this adds value to you guys. And I hope that you guys can, um, you know, take some of this. Also, I do, we do content like this all the time on our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to uh, Secure Agent Marketing's YouTube channel, we do stuff like this all the time. Also, we have a Facebook group called Advanced Insurance Marketing that have a really good discussion going on there. We'd love to join you in um, an Advanced Insurance Marketing Facebook group. There's about a thousand people in there. And all we do is talk about advanced insurance marketing stuff. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Hey, there's five words right now you should never say, you gotta stop saying, promise me you'll stop saying them. Well, dude, I don't know what the words are. Over the next few minutes you'll know and you will never use them again, all right? Number one, okay, number one. And, and, and as I preface why we're going into this,